Before we get started, it's time for that classic merchandise plug. These right here are going to be limited edition. We have them up for a short duration, and you can grab one if you'd like. Hoodies, shirts, multiple colors, etc. Hopefully some people like the design. All right, everyone. Today's video is going to be about how to hunt and kill a vampire in Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, how to do all of that and also get his unique dagger. Now, hunting this vampire is not like a traditional quest in Red Dead Redemption 2. It's not initiated at a start point and then comes up with a tracker. You need to find five different scrawlings or text pieces on walls spread throughout the Saint-Denis city. The first piece of the puzzle is located exactly here, right above the N in Denis. And if I exit here, I'll show you exactly where it is because some of these can be tricky to find. It's this white text right here between the two white doors, again, located directly north of the N in Denis. At this intersection right here with the green doors and the buildings across the way, that white text between those two doors. You will sketch it and that will be part one of the puzzle. From here, you are going to walk down the street to the entrance to where the trapper and the fence are. It's a very short distance away and I'll actually physically walk it right now because I feel like a description might actually lead some people to be confused. It's right down here. You see the entrance, the main market entrance, and then over here is a great door. Uh, a uh, grating metal door and inside there is some red text on the wall. This is the second piece of the puzzle. The third piece is located right over here behind the butcher and the general store and again I'll ride directly to it so everyone can see. This one's pretty straightforward though and it's very easy to find. Uh, there are five pieces. This is number three of those five. So we're going to go around here and through the butcher shop you're going to dismount your horse right about here run through the butcher shop if I can get by and it will be right on your right uh, around the corner and facing the street so we're going to go through this door right here and then over to your right again it's white text this time not red that is the third piece of the puzzle you'll sketch that and then you'll be on to the fourth the fourth piece of the puzzle is located directly here a little bit to the north of this axe looking courtyard that's off of an alleyway the entrance to the alleyway is right here clearly marked by this kind of coca-cola-esque looking sign you're gonna run in immediately take a right into this area there will be a garden-ish spot and then go into the overhanging area with the archways then take an immediate left this square right here is where it is right above the chair and the crates red text again that's piece number four you'll sketch it in your journal the last piece of the puzzle is located right here in the exact same alleyway over this horseshoe looking courtyard and I'll demonstrate right now. Again, the Coca-Cola sign, well, not actually a Coca-Cola sign, but that marks the entrance. You're going to run by, run past the first entrance that you took last time. You're going to go through this metal grate door. You're going to go up the stairs and through that archway all the way over here past these gardens. Again, take the stairs up, take an immediate right, go downstairs just a little bit through this archway and then right there the red writing on the wall on this white wall this is the final fifth piece of the puzzle once you've got all the diary entries it will draw a sort of pentagon star map and in that pentagon star map is the specific location of the vampire himself now the exact location can be found right here let me open up my map really quickly and show it is directly across from the church in the back there is this little garden ish area uh, in the back alleyway and you will need to wait until nighttime in order to find him but if you wait until nighttime and the easiest way to do that by the way is to go to a saloon there are no dedicated hotels that i know of in this major city but you go to a saloon and you can sleep there the same way that you would at a hotel come back during the night and you'll be able to see an x for a corpse on your map that will indicate whether or not the vampire is there if there's no x there he's not going to be present you can just try the next night and come back if there is an x that means he's there feeding on a corpse you're going to walk in uh, he will be to the right as you go down the stairs and however you approach him is up to you uh, he will be feeding on someone you can talk to him you can attack him however you go about killing him you will get bat wings off of his corpse and you will also get the rare legendary uh, ornate sacrificial vampire dagger from killing him this is one of the unique daggers in the game and i was mistaken in my previous video where i said that i had found all the unique knives i had not so shout out to everyone that made me aware of this and made it so i could find this one and make a video about it the knife is by no means better than any other knife in the game it just is something cool to find and i thought it was a really interesting encounter overall the fact that there's a vampire in the game uh, and it is it is fairly aesthetic it looks pretty cool and it's something interesting to have once you have it, you can grab it from your horse by scrolling over to where your knives are and then specifically selecting the ornate dagger whenever you'd like to. You can walk around with it, 
Again, nothing really special in terms of stats, but it's just a cosmetic piece and the whole encounter in the quest overall was pretty cool. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. Again, we do have these limited edition shirts right now up for a while. If you want to grab one, there's like hoodies, a couple different colors, t-shirts, etc. Uh, hopefully some people like the design, but I'll wrap it up there. If you want to support the channel in other ways, there are different links. We have a Facebook community, a Discord server, our own website forums, and we welcome everyone to contribute there. I do stream on YouTube now, so if you want to catch a live broadcast, make sure to hit the notification bell. I also have a Twitch channel, and I'm figuring out exactly what to do about that. I don't know how to proceed because I don't want to abandon the people on twitch but i don't really want to stream on twitch anymore so if you want to follow twitch and you're more of a viewer there then feel free to uh i don't really know what's going to happen with that in the future but i'll stop rambling now thank you for watching as always and have a nice night